What's going on, Bruce? God, I still can't get over just how damn sexy this thing is. This is proof that the best things in life are free. All right, all right, let's go over here now. Hey, I'm going over here now. Now, guys, kind of uh, the derpy coal was strong on this one. We had 318 comments, 207 qualifying entries. Now, Alexa, as you see, Right there, Alexa, choose, Alexa, say something. Alexa. Yeah, whatever. All right, so she chooses all the winners, and guys, there was 207 qualifying entries for the Dragonite V Mint 9 Altar from Evolving Skies and the three Derpy Qs as consolation prizes. Mm, Shut up, God. Anyway, so the winning comments were comment number 104, comment number 57, 124, and 36. Comment number 104 was never cold, 808. Congratulations, bro. You won the Dragonite V Altar, bro. Yeah, hit me up, hit me up on, uh, on IG. And then our three consolation prizes were J, this is John Francis, Pokemage87, and Daily Breaker Ren. So you guys are gonna get one of these three at random. Whereas Never Cold 808 gets the Dragonite V Altar Slam. Yeah. And yeah, let's get into Investor Bro Mimic Brew video tonight, guys. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Pokemon Center ETBs. Yeah, guys, guess what? Today's video, we're talking about Pokemon Center ETBs. But guess what? I'm gonna actually give real predictions that have real price targets with real time frames attached to them. Whoa, not a lot of investor bros do that, do they? Okay, so uh, yeah, so today's topic is actually the, the best sealed products you can invest in right now, meaning right now. You can pause this video or you can wait till it's done. Please leave a like, comment, watch the whole video, and then, uh, and then go check it out for yourself. But don't worry, I'll show you all the details. We'll get onto eBay, we'll cross-reference things, we'll look at the worst case scenario, the best case scenario. Don't worry, I'll, I'll really vet this through, okay? And as I said, I got, uh, in my opinion, some very cold takes. Um, but, you know, if you've been living under a rock for the last couple of weeks, you might think these are uh, hot takes. So, you know, maybe they're lukewarm takes. The point is, I'm gonna talk to you about the sealed product called the Pokemon Center E2B. I'm gonna talk about ones you can get right now. Like there's there's some you can literally buy right now and then immediately relist them like right now and make 10, 20 bucks on. So um, the fact, yeah, yeah. so anyway, it, it is what it is. But uh, Pokemon Center ETBs, we are absolutely going to dissect the remaining ones available and uh, whether or not you should uh, buy them or not, which yeah, you should. And guys, once again, Look, Christian Dale, the guy for Valleywide Sports Cards in Scottsdale, Arizona, he's the reason I was able to give the Dragonite V Altar away. And he's already told me in the future other milestones, like this was for 3,000 subs. I'm sure he's probably going to give me something to give away, 5K if I hit 5K subs. Um, so again, if you live in that Arizona area, especially on the east side, go check out Christian Dale. Say hi to him at Valleywide Sports Cards in Scottsdale, Arizona. Okay, no more derpy cues to like Thanksgiving and Christmas. All right, so so back to the uh, Pokemon Center ETBs. These three right here, let's get into it. Stellar Crown. Stella, Stellar Frown. Twilight Gatorade. Shredded Fumble. So Stellar Crown, Twilight Masquerade, Shrouded Fable. These three right now on the Pokemon Center. This is US. This isn't the UK Pokemon Center. All three of these right here now, during this video, you can pause this video, you can go buy all three of these. You can buy, I believe, up to four of all of them. You can buy four of each. And, okay, so real quick, let's get into my prediction and then I'll vet why it's my prediction. Here is my bold prediction. Every single, every single, every single, all of them. Pokemon Center ETB from the Scarlet and Violet era. Listen carefully because this is a little confusing, but I'm being serious. I'll explain why. Every single one of them by February of 2026, aka 
the beginning of the next era, which is also the 30th anniversary, mind you. Every single one, from Scarlet and Violet base set, to Paradox Rift, to Shredded Fumble, to blah, 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 blah Twilight Masquerade, all of them will be at least a hundred and fifty dollars sealed all of them bare minimum worst case scenario the worst i believe will be 149.99 okay even the ones that haven't been released yet that will be brand new essentially when the era ends what do you mean you're saying every single pokemon center etb from this era that has already been printed and hasn't been printed yet will be worth over $150 sealed? Yes. So, allow me to explain. So first of all, what happened with Prismatic Evolutions? Prismatic Evolutions, ETB, sold out within 10 to 12 hours. It even did that after the first two hours, they reduced the quantity you could order from four to two. They cut the quantity you can pre-order in half they still sold out by the end of the day, okay? Surging Sparks? I am shocked that that PCETB was even available for as long as it was. It was available even when the booster box was shooting to the moon. You know, the, the Scarlet and Violet ETB, Pokemon Center ETB, uh, Surging Sparks, pardon me, took way longer to sell out than I thought. But then the next set immediately gone immediately gone everyone's making youtube videos about it what the heck and now we have the the nine sir out of 32 total sirs revealed of the evolutions everyone's losing their freaking mind okay what's the next set that comes out after prismatic evolutions glory of team rocket at least in japanese we don't know what it's going to be called in english do you think that that pokemon center etb is not gonna sell out within the first 48 hours if you do just so you know this is pokemon you know this isn't meta zoo this isn't magic this isn't one piece this isn't lorcana this is glory of team rocket pokemon center etb for pokemon this it what i'm trying to say is if uh, the, the Prismatic Evolution sold out in 12 hours. I think Glory of Team Rocket is going to sell out in 11 hours, okay? And I think the next set after that, the Trainer's Pokemon, maybe not as fast. I think it'll sell out in 13 hours, okay? And whatever this set is that's going to follow up Prismatic Evolution's Glory of Team Rocket and Trainer's set all the way at the end of next year, that can't be a letdown set. You are following some of the craziest sets imaginable. Do you really think they're just going to drop the ball right at the end of the SV era and drop a really lame set? Probably not. It's probably the there seems like they are trying to finish as strong as possible and with this final year, the way it's shaping up. So, every single Pokemon Center ETB that has not been released yet, even those I think will be selling for $150 by the end of the era, a year from now. Let alone all these older ones, like Paradox Rift, Temporal Forces, Paldean Fates, Scarlet and Violet Base Set. I mean, Obsidian Flames already is $150. Okay, so what I'm telling you is that every single box that says PC exclusive etv pokemon center exclusive whether it's even been released yet or not will be worth 150 dollars sealed 13 months from now okay there's a you know it that could be a hot take that could be a very cold take there's there's reasons why you could call it a cold take um and there's a lot of reasons why you can call it a hot take because some of the etbs aren't doing that great at the moment um and we're going to look at that right now actually so here we are on pokemoncenter.com Again, and uh, here's Stellar Crown, Twilight Masquerade, and Shredded Fumble. Here's the three, $59.99. Now let's go straight to the top. Let's go to eBay. So the Pokemon Center, or the, uh, yeah, the Pokemon Center Scarlet and Violet 151 is the current creme de la creme at $230, okay? Now let's go to the bottom of the barrel. 
when it comes to sold out Pokemon Center ETBs, this right here, one of my favorite sets of the whole era, one of only two big Scarlet and Violet sets, meaning each individual card per rarity tier is much harder to pull, especially the IRs. Okay, anyway, $70 plus $9, you know, shipping, 65 that's about as cheap as it gets, or 60 so 70 bucks. So right here and now, your worst case scenario in this moment in time is Paradox Rift has been out a year and it's only appreciated $10. So that's the worst case scenario. And yes, I think this will be worth $150 a year from now. All of them. I just want to make sure you understand that. I'm talking about Paradox Rift. I'm talking about all of them, okay? Let's go to Temporal Forces, one step up. Here we go, a little bit better. So we start jumping to 75, around 80, 90. Here's $90 by it now for Temporal Forces. And by the way, these two sets don't have that desirable of actual cards, but the cards still have that promo stamp. Okay, so here's your Iron Thorns, but here we go. So 85 plus, you know, about $95 when I was looking at this earlier. Here's 120 buy it now. Here's 100 buy it now. Here's, uh, you know, this would be for 90 each right here. And you could see the promo loan is listing on a lot of them for half the original value of the box itself. Here's 100 each. So again, these two are the worst performing, and I think all of them, the closer we get to the end of the era, the closer all of them will trend upwards. Sealed investors, there's gonna be what? There's gonna be like 14 or 15 of these or whatever when the when the set, the era's over, I mean, 60, count, count all the specialty sets, the regular sets. Should be like 16 total boxes, I guess, to collect when the era is over. And the amount of influencers, streamers, YouTubers that are going to want one of each of these boxes, especially like even now, everyone wants one of each of these boxes. But okay, I'm just saying, people are really going to want these as time goes by because that exclusivity, that stamp promo, that's never ever been done before. They did not do that in Sword and Shield, okay? And there's, yeah, so right here, Shredded Fumble, Shrouded Fable. Right here and now, you can buy the Shrouded Fable for 60 bucks. You can go to eBay, okay? And it's selling for $80, 80, 80 oh, that's UK, $70. This is literally stocked currently. And if you take shipping and, like, you know, eBay selling fees out of the equation... You could technically buy this and really here's ninety dollars, seventy seven plus ten shipping, and again these are like the worst examples. These are not the Obsidian Flames. These are not the Paldea Evolved ones. You know th these are the worst examples that are already appreciating. This set just came out three months ago, guys. You know what I'm saying? And it's available this PCE to be right now. By the way, the Shrouded Fable Elite Trainer Box actually looks. Very beautiful. I hate the set, but I love the artwork on the box. It is very cool. Absolutely very cool. Way cooler than Stellar Crown. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys right now to the number one overall buy it now while you're sitting on the couch investment. And that's me choosing between these three. And in all honesty, if I had to choose between these three, I think the answer is obvious. The Twilight Masquerade currently available on Pokemon Center, <laughs> Pokemon Center ETB for $60. I cannot think of an easier to purchase, more available, don't have to be upcharged, don't got to do something weird and get scammed, from the Pokemon Center itself for $60. That, in my mind, is the most obvious, like, your $60 is very safe as far if you invest your $60 into this product and you keep it sealed and you keep it ding free I genuinely believe this will be a double double your money within a year easily easily double your money Twilight Masquerade is a very desirable set absolutely the booster box I don't even want to look up how much the booster box is right now but it's a uh, you know it's a lot more than it used to be okay so I'm actually shocked that this Pokemon Center Twilight Masquerade ETP is still available. And right here now, $80.
eighty dollars. Yeah, we got eighty, eighty. It's nine. Jeez, let's go right here. Eighty, ninety dollars. The promo itself, twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars. You know, eighty-two dollars. And again, this is fifty-nine ninety-nine currently in stock, and being resold for eighty, eighty-five bucks on eBay. So imagine a year from now what this thing might be worth. Okay. Let's just take a look just for fun at Paldean Fates. 100 bucks. Looks like 90 to 100 was uh, what Paldean Fates is going for right now. That's 75, but that's also $15 shipping on that one. Paldean Fates looking very strong. So even right here now, again, let's look at Stellar Crown, which is one of the three available. $80 plus $6 shipping. $90. $80. $60 shipping. $80. It's available right now for $60 from a very reputable seller, a.k.a. the Pokemon Center. And let's look at second place because I want to bring Obsidian Flames up because um, this is a set that for the longest, absolute longest time, nobody gave a crap about. And guess what? 160 bucks. 150 160 you could have easily acquired these for a very large window of opportunity. A lot, there's a l plenty of time to get these guys. And so there you go. You have 151 at 230. You have this guy at 160. Shall we look up Paldea Evolved? I feel like Paldea Evolved is probably doing pretty good too. Let's check that out real quick. Pele Evolved, 175, 170, 155, 160, 160, 140. Okay, so I think you guys are pretty much getting the point. The point is, now let's go back to me. The point is, exclusivity, nostalgia, things happen quick when they start happening. And over the next uh, year, 13 months, as we end this era and segue into the 30th anniversary, I think more and more and more people are going to view these Pokemon Center ETBs as a very limited run, very um, just high-end sealed product to own just to have a piece of this era and invest in this era. If you want to invest in Scarlet and Violet era, and you think the Scarlet and Violet era as a whole will do great over the next 5, 10, 15 years, then you can look for no better product than just, in general, these Pokemon Center ETBs. They are a hit with hobbyists, collectors, with everyone, and they are clearly a massively reduced print run to your retail ETB. Massively reduced, massive exclusivity with one tiny little stamp, makes all the difference in the world and yeah like we all know hopefully by now even the snorlax just the snorlax etb promo alone itself just that singular card is already worth a hundred dollars okay just think five ten years down the road especially if this era still holds up with time these pokemon center etbs are they're just the most obvious in my again, in my mind, this is a cold take, but in a lot of people's mind, the fact that a year from now, every single one of them being worth one hundred and fifty dollars, if you think that's a hot take, I think you just need to maybe look into how strong this hobby, this IP, is because even at its worst, it's stronger than everyone else. It's at its best right now. And you got a re a, a hobby a hobby box that's only sold from the Pokemon Center that everyone knows the Prismatic Evolutions one just sold out in ten hours. Okay, so Gloria Team Rocket, all the other sets, every one of those ETBs is selling out instantly. I'm sorry, they are. So from this point forward to the end of the era, every single Friday, listen to me, Friday. Before a new set comes out, look for the Pokemon Center to post the pre-sale of the following ETB. Because look, 
Prismatic Evolutions, that ETB, dropped on a Friday morning. The following Friday, two days from now, is Surging Sparks. If you really want some of these future Pokemon Center ETBs, pay attention to that. And that Friday, before Prismatic Evolutions comes out, be awake, be alert, be on the Pokemon Center, and look for that glory of Team Rocket PCE to be to get posted, because that shit is going to fly. All right, guys, real quick, Pokemon TCG Pocket. The thing, the app that I gave Brian, Pokeini, so much crap for getting addicted to. I actually love it. I'm about to make a video about it. Um, It's the pros and cons, what I think about Pokemon TCG Pocket. But as a standing order to all you, the, the derpy cult, if any of you are looking for friends and you need, you just, you just, maybe you just downloaded the game, you have like one or two friends or no friends at all, use my comment section. Post your uh, user, whatever the friend code is, post that into this video or any future Mimic Brew video. And yeah, because I have a lot of spots open. You know, you post your, your user code, friend name, you might, you might get a friend request from Mimic Brew. I'm just saying, guys, I, after the first few days, I've noticed it's not near as predatory and uh, scammy, microtransaction-y as I originally realized, and I've actually had some pretty good experiences with it, so I have no problem promoting Pokemon TCG Pocket, and I will get into that in a future video where I dissect everything about it, whether I love it, hate it, and the pros and cons, yada, 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 but um, yeah, so leave your friend cone down below, and once again, all four of you winners, uh, hit me up on IG to claim your prize, and until... Uh, Two days from now, uh, hottest cards of the week. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.